Hey everybody, this is Damien from Studio Pro Musical once again. Just got a quick tip for you today. If you're soloing on guitar, chances are you know a pentatonic minor scale with or without blue notes added is very commonly called a blues scale. If I did it in the key of B minor here at the seventh fret, it would be. And if I add the blue notes, Of course, there are many positions on the neck you can play it. But the tip today is if you're not already doing this, try in most modern pop settings blending the pentatonic minor with a diatonic scale. Remember, the pentatonic five tones, those five tones are taken out of the diatonic. So there's a lot of overlap, of course. And again, when I say modern pop music, I always point this out. I mean, top of the pop type, you know, top of the charts type stuff. I mean uh, rock, I mean country, I mean a lot of blues, blues influenced rock, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. Even jazz standards would fit in that. So again, if you're playing kind of a bluesy kind of a lead, you can then add some real life by adding the diatonic or complementing your bluesy scales with the diatonic. Okay, they have similar personalities but different at the same time, different enough that it adds a lot of contrast. I'm going to give you a couple of quick examples. One is going to be uh, from the B.B. King classic, The Thrill Is Gone commonly jammed song at rock and blues jam session so you definitely want to have that one in your back pocket the other example is the jazz standard the latin jazz standard blue bossa again very commonly jammed at jazz jam uh, jam session so you definitely want to have that one in your back pocket okay just going to do a single uh 12 measure sequence for the thrill is gone a single 16 measure sequence for uh blue bossa you, so you can hear how everything sounds in context. Here we go. All right, so what you see is they both work, they complement each other. So it's just a nice way to add a little bit of variety. Again, sprinkle some pentatonic blues kind of licks in with your diatonic scale. Or another way to think of it, sprinkle some diatonic passages in with your bluesy passages, okay? Thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed today's quick little tip. If you haven't already subscribed to Studio Pro Musica here on YouTube, please do so, and I'll see you next time.